Hello. Okay, we're gonna. I'm coming back with another hooded eye tutorial. Um, I found another tip slash trick that I could share with you guys that I think will be so easy, especially for hooded eye beginners. Okay. So for those of you guys that don't know, basically what a hooded eye is is it's where you cannot see very much of your lid anymore. See when I look straight forward. This eye, almost all of the lid is covered by this skin that hangs down. And this one is almost all the way covered with the skin. Um, there's different varying degrees of hooded eyes. There's people that have far more hooded eyes than I do. There's people that have less hooded eyes than I do. But essentially, for me, my biggest complaint, see that would be not hooded eyes or like that. For me, my biggest complaint was whenever I did my eye makeup, and I was done and I looked in the mirror, you couldn't see the eye makeup at all because I was strictly focusing right here. Um, all of the hooded, all of the tutorials out there for eyeshadow would tell you just to take your um, crease color and put it in the crease. But those of us that have hooded eyes, when we open our eyes, we can't see that color anymore. We can't see that, that eyeshadow. So basically what I like to do is teach you guys how to make your eyes look less hooded, how to make it so that you can still see your eyeshadow when you're, um, everything is all said and done and your makeup is done, how to um, just basically deal with the hooded eyes. The hooded eyes are not necessarily bad. I think they're beautiful. You just have to learn how to work with them and tweak them so that we can get the same look in the end. Um, so long winded intro. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Cassie Rasley and I love all things makeup, beauty and fashion. Um, if you're not already following my page, make sure that you follow it because you, won't, you don't want to miss. And make sure that you turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of my uploads, any of my live videos, or these quick short tips and trick videos. Share this with your friends, especially your hooded eye friends, because I promise you they're going to love it. And make sure that you like this video as well. Okay, let's get into it. So this technique is great because what it's going to do is it's going to deposit the color into, onto. so it's going to deposit the color in your crease and above your crease, all in one full swoop. So it's great for beginners. It's great for those with hooded eyes because once you stick it right in that socket, you're just doing this motion and then a little bit of windshield wiper motions and circular motions and you got it, okay? But you need the right brush. So see a smaller crease brush like this will deposit. So I open it, stick it in there and then kind of open it or I close my eye, stick it in there and then open it back up and it's stuck in there. So see how that is just going to deposit the color right in the crease. He's your also, like a small one like this obviously wouldn't work because it's just going to put it right there in that crease. Or even one like this won't really work because it just puts it in that crease. Um, what I think is probably the best option is ones like this. We actually sell this one. This is a fluffy crease brush and I'll link it in the description of the video. All of the products that I used will be linked in the description of the video. So essentially just like that okay i'm gonna put some eyeshadow on it and show you but i'm also going to show you something else okay so now we've got this little makeshift stencil okay um and basically you're just going to take a piece of tissue and fold it into almost just like a a triangle like this okay and you're the it wants to, you always want to start it like at the end of your brow, okay? And then to your lash line or the end of your eye right here. You want to leave a little bit of a space. You don't want to take it all the way to the lash line like this. You want to leave a little bit of a space just like so. I almost forgot the eye primer. Eye primer is one of the most important steps for us girls with hooded eyes, okay? First of all, you just need a teeny, teeny, teeny amount, okay? Not very much at all. I'm just gonna plop it on clean eyes. Just on the lid, it's gonna help your eyes. Eye makeup so it doesn't crease and it's gonna look just as good as the second that you put it on as it does when you go to take it off. Sorry, if you guys can hear kids in the background crying, my kids are having a hard time today. And then lastly, make sure that you just set that little eye primer with probably like a translucent setting powder, just so that it's not tacky. That eye these are the colors that I'm going to use today. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. I don't know what we're going to do, but essentially these are some of my very favorite colors and they're all back in stock. We have three mattes and a shimmer. We have Hesitant, Earthly, 
laid back and optimistic. And there is seriously so much you guys can do with this one eyeshadow palette. We've got our fluffy crease brush and we're gonna go with Earthly, okay? And you're basically gonna do like on both sides of it, like all sides of it, honestly. You're gonna take just like so and then tap it off, close your eye, stick it right in the socket and open your eye, just like that, okay? And then you're just, oh, I totally forgot to put the stencil on. So let's first put the stencil on, like I told you, towards the end of your brow and leaving a little bit of a space not taking it all the way up there, okay? Same thing, okay, I'm gonna put the color on all sides, tap it off, close my eye, open it so it's right in there in that socket, and I'm just gonna start blending. Do circular motions to kind of start to help that color blend up a little bit more. And then so what we have now is it kind of gets it gets stuck right here so it doesn't get the color here. What you can do is you can wash the color, kind of close your eye again, wash that color all over your eyelid. And there you have that, okay? See how you still can see uh, you can still see the eyeshadow with my eye open because of the right brush that we use and the right technique. Um, but it didn't bring it too far down this way. You can still see that color coming up this way, but it doesn't bring it down this way. So, and I'm gonna address, a, a lot of us get darkness right here and here, and it does make it look like our eyeshadow is dragging down. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a second, but I'm gonna show you another technique on this eye where you don't have to use the stencil, which for me, the stencil becomes cumbersome. Let me just show you. So for this side of the eye, to keep so to keep the eyeshadow from going, so it's lifting and not coming down, I'm actually gonna use translucent setting powder and a beauty blender. I'm just gonna get a like, quite a bit on here and I'm just gonna stamp it kind of in that same pattern that I put the stencil just like so and we're gonna do it like that instead of holding up the stencil so let's do the exact same thing okay I'm gonna take earthly and I'm gonna put it all along sides of the brush just like that tap it off close my eye and then open my eye so it's there I'm just gonna start blending. Windshield wiper motions. And then circular motions to kind of blend that up. But see how we, since, since we have the right brush and color on all sides of the brush and that little bit of hangover, when we do it this way, it gets it on both sides, upper and lower and it doesn't take too much work. Now this technique would be especially good for those of you girls that don't have a, a ton of, lids, of lid space. I'm gonna take and wash the rest of that color all over the lid. And what that translucent powder is doing is it's stopping it from going down. A lot like the stencil did, but this is gonna be a little bit more, this is gonna look more gradient than the stencil is a little more. Okay, so now I'm just washing the rest of that color. And you guys, this is one color. And look how blended it looks. This just also helps with a, you to get a beautiful blend if you're not quite sure how to blend. You haven't quite gotten the blending of the eyeshadow down yet. This would help a lot with that. Okay, now take a fluffy brush and blend that away. And you've got eyeshadow that you can see with your eyes open. We've only used one color and that's it. Now, one thing that you can do is if you wanna bring your eyeshadow up a little bit higher, you can just take this brush with nothing else left on it and just blend those edges.
Now, if you put more color on it, you might have you might have trouble blending it out. And see how I'm holding right my my um I'm holding this here and not here. You want to hold it back here, especially when you're trying to get that beautiful blend because you have less control over the brush. The more control you have, the denser the color is going to be. The less control you have, the, the sheerer the color will be. Still one color. Okay, one thing that you can do next is if you wanted to lighten up the inside of your lid, you'd either take a shimmer, optimistic, or laid back. I'm going to take laid back on this little teeny brush right here with that's not a shimmer, okay? And I'm just going to lighten this up just right here. You can also take laid back if you don't love a lot of shimmer and use this as your highlight color right here. And you can take, you can even take it right here onto your inner corner. Or if you do like a highlight color, you can pop right there, right there, a little bit right here, just to kind of help brighten up that inner corner. And even if you do get color down below this way, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Number one, you can take this color right here and swoop it up, or you can take a concealer a teeny, teeny bit. I'm just, I'm literally just lightening up that darkness that's right there. And I'm also, if you have any that, any eyeshadow that comes down, it kind of helps. And you can even do it on the inner corner. Um, I already had my concealer done but you could have, you could do your concealer underneath at this point, whatnot. A really important step I feel, and now we're going to do mascara and a really important step I feel like for your mascara, especially if you had hooded eyes is even if you have long lashes, which I do is to curl those lashes because it really helps pull them up and out away from your lid. I feel like just that made a world of difference. So now I'm going to use, you can either use our 40 mascara or our brand new twisted mascara. I think today I'm going to go with the 40 mascara. So I'm going to start applying this and you guys know how to apply mascara. So I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to come back on. One thing I meant to do before I put my mascara on was show you guys how I like to use eyeliner without it making your eyes look more hooded. But if you've seen my other hooded eye video tutorial, you know I like to tight line black up top. Don't, don't do it when you already have your mascara on because you're just gonna ruin it. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna help to thicken up that lash line without losing any of that um, lid space, little lid space that you already have. And also take a white eyeliner or a beige. This is a coal liner. You don't wanna use a, uh, you don't wanna use a liquid liner for this. But I'm just gonna plop this. And then the other thing that I'm going to do from this palette that we've been working from, I'm going to use Hesitant. I like to use lighter colors to go underneath my eyes with just because I like to keep, when I put darker colors underneath my eyes, I feel like it drags them down and I like to keep it nice and light and bright. So I feel like this would, a lighter color will look good. So I'm just going to use this pink and I'm really lightly Put it underneath my lid to pull everything together. Connect it with the top. And Hesitant is really one of my favorite colors. I'm so happy that it's back in stock. I don't know how long these colors are gonna stay in stock for. So if you want this palette, you better get it ASAP. And again, all of the products that I used are linked in the description of the video. If for some reason you cannot find it, send me a message, I'd be happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna do Mask, a little bit of mascara on the bottom, but I'm not going to use this mascara. I'm actually going to use our brand new twisted mascara. Let me show you the brand new twisted mascara. It has two wands to it. There's a bigger wand 
and this smaller wand. And I love this smaller wand for my bottom lashes because I don't love my bottom lashes to be super extravagant, but I love how these get up nice and close to the lash line and it gets every last lash. But I don't have to take it all the way to the bottom because it's such a, I like my lashes on my bottoms to stay short. Even though they're longer lashes, they're, I have long lashes on the bottom as well. I don't like to take the mascara all the way to the end of them. <clears throat> and there you have it, guys. It's that easy. That easy. One color will, you could have, we could have just stuck with one color and it would have been just as va va boom, it, just as great. Um, we took a little, sh little teeny, a lighter of a color on the inner corners and then a shimmer, a little bit of the shimmer on the lids and maybe on the inner corner right there. Super easy, super simple, yet packs a punch, makes your eyes look less hooded. You can still see your makeup, eye makeup when your eyes are open. Yeah. So in the comments below, tell me, do you think you can do this? Do you think it would work for you? What do you think of it? Okay. Make sure again that you're following me. Turn on those notifications so that you get notified when I go live and I upload these videos. And I hope to see you on my next video. Mwah. Love you guys.